गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एमिशंस गैप रिपोर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज द यू एन एनवायरमेंट प्रोग्राम्स और यू एन ई पी एमिशंस गैप रिपोर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वॉन्स डेट देर है to 1.5 degrees celsius in 2023 with a 1.3% increase in greenhouse gas emissions compared to 2022 despite growing use of renewable energy the pace of phasing out polluting activities lags behind the goals set by the paris agreement now let's discuss about unep emission gap report 2024 It is published annually by the United Nations Environment Programme that is UNEP. It assesses the gap between projected greenhouse gas emissions and the levels needed to limit global temperature rise. It focuses on the 1.5 degrees Celsius and 2 degrees Celsius goals of the Paris Agreement. It analyzes nationally determined contributions and their effectiveness. and provides insights into sectors such as energy industry and agriculture regarding emission trends now moving on to key highlights of the report global greenhouse gas emissions increased by 1.3% in 2023 reaching 57.1 gigatons of carbon dioxide warming equivalent the emissions gap for the 2 degrees celsius target remains 16 gigatons of carbon dioxide warming equivalent for 2030 while for the 1.5 degrees celsius target it is 24 gigatons of carbon dioxide warming equivalent conditional and unconditional ndcs that is nationally determined contributions if fully implemented will reduce emissions by only 4% and 10% respectively by 2030 a 28% reduction is required for the 2 degrees celsius pathway by 2030 and a 42% reduction for the 1.5 degrees celsius target solar and wind energy could account for 27% of emissions reduction by 2030 deforestation reduction and forest management contribute 20% of potential reductions now moving on to key recommendations countries need to adapt more ambitious ndcs incorporating all greenhouse gases not just carbon dioxide international financial support is critical for developing nations to meet their climate goals urgent reforms in the global financial system are necessary to scale up climate finance a six fold increase in investment for emissions mitigation is required to close the gap Increased deployment of renewable energy particularly solar and wind power should be prioritized more robust forest management strategies should be implemented to reduce emissions from deforestation and leaders at the 2024 COP29 summit must accelerate climate action especially wealthier nations bearing the larger responsibility Now lastly moving on to the way forward. While the 1.5 degrees Celsius target remains technically achievable, urgent and ambitious action is necessary. The UNEP report calls for immediate scaling up of renewable energy investments, reforming climate finance and adopting more stringent national climate policies to close the emissions gap. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about Emissions Gap Report 2024. 1. It is published annually by the United Nations Environment Program. 2. A 28% reduction in emissions is needed by 2030 to 
to meet the 2 degrees Celsius pathway. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.